So in the graphics window you can see a converging body of a vehicle hood and we've already started to reconstruct this mesh body using some of the new commands in this release of NX. As you can see we have a subdivision body followed by some other child features. What I'd like to do is to take you through the process of getting to this stage. So here we have our original convergent body and for ease of selection during this whole subdivision sheet body creation I'm going to make the body itself translucent and then show the facet edges. You can see the makeup of this mesh body. I activate realize shape and then select the new command draw cage and it's as easy as this just to start selecting geometry directly on the mesh body whether that be a facet vertex point on face point on edge and you can see how quick it is to develop these quad shapes it's using the previous quad shape as the starting point for the next one so you can very quickly reconstruct surface geometry directly from referenced scan data and the result is a single subdivision body. I can also use any of the other NX Realize Shape commands such as Transform Cage to make subtle adjustments to the subdivision body I've just created. Now as this hood has symmetry I'm going to use symmetric modeling. Now I have both sides of my design created although I only have to make modifications to the one half for it to affect the other. Notice if I switch off the facet edges and also the convergent body that the subdivision sheet bodies follow the shape of my convergent body. I'll now continue with my design and I'm going to do this center wall that runs down each side of the model. So I reselect my original cage and then start to continue constructing the geometry as you can see with symmetrical modeling both sides of the design are being updated simultaneously. You can really see how quick it is to construct geometry using this technique. I can continue to further refine the design in this case I'm going to set the continuity to match the sharp edge of our original mesh body and it's as simple as that. I continue to make modifications to the reconstructed surfaces using common NX Realize Shape commands we'll just modify the cage using a transform and then again we'll just split that cage up so we can just move the edge in the valley a little closer to our original design. So let's take a better look at what we've got so far. We'll just switch off the convergent body and you can see what we've constructed in our design so far. We'll continue to add subdivision bodies this time using a slightly different command which allows us to fill geometry across the center line and again similarly in the valley very quick and very easy using the tools in Realize Shape especially with the inclusion of the new Draw Cage command which allows us to lay subdivision surfaces extremely quickly onto existing geometry in this case a convergent body. I continue to make modifications to the subdivision bodies so that I can create what I need to generate the angled wall between the valley and the 
front of the hood. So I'm going to isolate the subdivision body and now I'm going to concentrate on creating that walled face and I'm going to use the fill surface to do this and I just very quickly select the boundary and the surface is created. So you've seen me use a number of different tools and techniques to get to this stage of the design. I'm just going to finish off this section with adding some of the finer detail such as the uh, fillets or blends across the model. Again we're just using standard NX modeling blends to do this. And then we'll run the final two blends around the top of the valley and the base of the valley. And there we have our design at this stage. You can see how it follows our original convergent body. Obviously we would need to continue adding more features but you can see how quickly we were able to get to this stage utilizing not only traditional modeling techniques but also the new draw cage command.